Alrighty, in this one, it's going to be a shorter, quick video, hopefully helpful for people who are new and experienced. And I'm going to be organizing and decluttering my workspace in Notion. Obviously, these are just some basic pointers that I want to introduce, but nothing special here. I want to keep it nice and short and sweet. I think some misconceptions that I want to debunk are, you know, it's actually easier than you think. It's quicker than you think. And I think especially within the context of Notion, you learn from doing. I'm going to get started here. First tip off the bat while you're seeing the screen are these sidebar items. I've conveniently clicked on each of these labels. And so now you can't see pages on the sidebar. Maybe this feels good. Maybe it doesn't matter to you. Regardless, just wanted to show you how you can click on these and hide them. Another thing that I highly recommend you doing is if, for example, this is the top level page, that contains all my other pages that I want to organize or declutter, I'd go to the top right corner of the page and go to add to your favorites. And notice how it conveniently shows you a shortcut for that. I think just clicking on the star is good enough. And again, if you click on it, open that favorite section, it's at the top there. See a bunch of my other stuff there. Use the favorite features for current or top level pages so that you can contain more notes and have a little bit of hierarchy built in and you have it favorited. I'm going to just go through my private pages. There's a bunch of random pages here. I'm sure we can all relate to some degree about all this stuff. I'm going to just show you how I would go about organizing this. Here we go. So I'm going to start from the bottom. And what I'm going to basically do is I'm going to click on this page in the sidebar under private and then just drag it in. So notice how when I do that, the random advice page is no longer in private. It doesn't show in private because it lives under this organizing and decluttering in Notion. And the way we find where this is, is by going back to our favorites. And then if you click on that toggle sidebar, item, you can see that random advice lives under organizing and decluttering. I'm going to basically create some sections on this top level page and then click and drag each of these pages in the appropriate sections so that we can get organized pretty quick. I'm going to create two columns slash two C. I'm going to create a toggle and maybe we'll start with templates. Seems like there's a bunch of templates that I downloaded and I kind of want to sort those first. And then maybe for another one, we'll just have call out, make it default and find that asterisk miscellaneous. Random advice is a perfect example of that misc. I'm going to drag it into the call out. Boom. Now with the templates, I'm going to just choose one and show you how that works. This one looks like a template. Yeah, notice how if I click on it, it goes right to it. So you want to just click and drag and then drag to the appropriate place. So when I do that, it disappears there, it appears under templates. And now if we go to the favorites section and go here, there it is, right? Let's say we wanted to create another level of hierarchy within this favorites section. The way we can actually do that is we can actually go to here and then turn into page. And so now what happens is when you do that, you get the templates, the toggle header turns into the name of the page, and then the template lives under that, right? It's gonna control Z that. Just a cool way to hover over to the block and then quickly turn it into something. Sometimes it's flawless and seamless like we just did there with the page. You can also turn it into a page under a certain place. That's nice as well. So I'm just going to keep clicking and dragging templates. As you can see, I was looking for some YouTube templates. I didn't really find one that I really liked. Okay, so I think that might be almost all of them. All right, and as you can see, if you go to the bottom, I have these pages that I created those layered categorical sub pages. And so I'm going to try to make it so that I can see all my private pages within a single drag. My shared section is pretty small and my favorite section I'm fine with this. And I can always quickly remove from favorites with a right click. But I just like hiding it for now since we want to focus on these private pages. Say we can't see the full page name, we can drag this out so we can reveal the whole page name. As you can see, I have a bunch of other stuff going on. I'm not going to open these pages for privacy's sake. I'm going to duplicate that. Notice how I just duplicated that call out, but now it also duplicates the page. So we don't really need that. I'm just going to delete it. I'm also going to title this work. This is not that important. So I'm just going to add another toggle, move it in there, delete that spacing. Quick tip, when you click on space in Notion, jumps to Notion AI. The way you can avoid that is to add any other character and then a space, and then to use the arrow key, go back one and then delete it. So now it doesn't say press space for commands or add text. It's a filled line and it looks cleaner that way. And if you don't necessarily need text within this toggle header, for example, you can just add that base and you'll be good. So I'm going to drag that in there. Okay, so that's a template, a bunch of YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah, so um, when there's pages in blocks, like here, it's sometimes just faster to create 
a new one so that instead of duplicating everything under it, you can just do that. Yeah, just a quick section for docs as well. Maybe this isn't quite aesthetic, but again, I am a sort of functional Notionist, Notion user, and not really a aesthetic user. I can make aesthetic stuff when I need to, but the most part don't prioritize that. I think there's a lot of Notion examples. Another handy command is control shift Z, which is basically a reversal of what you just control Z. If you accidentally clicked it on it one too many times, you can just reverse that process. So notice how the toggle is gray, but when you do put something in it, it turns black. These are all my early videos. I'll just continue to move these pages from the sidebar into this top level page. Click and drag. The toggles are basically a way of decluttering your sidebar. Maybe this is kind of the idea of just moving what you have onto a page, but I do think being able to organize through callouts, through heading toggles, regular toggles, and then layering them through columns and other blocks is really helpful. Right now I'm really zoomed in and so obviously it's going to look different on your screen and obviously you're going to find some things that you don't need delete it. So now my sidebar is all right here. Okay, so now my private sidebar is very much smaller. Shared is, you know, the way that it is. And favorite now is my largest section sidebar. Obviously, some of these things could be layered. Some of these things are short term and temporary, but everyone has their own use case for the sidebar. And I hope that I was able to show you how to do that. I think the final thing I'll introduce here is the three dots again, you can make this text smaller. You can also make it full width and those are two really easy toggles that you can configure to just open everything up even more right i'm still zoomed in pretty high so i'm gonna zoom out i think in this case there's not a whole lot of content and so full width is fine maybe we can adjust this a little bit i guess if we have everything opened maybe full might be nice it's all personal preference at the end of the day if you really want to go minimal you can go as far as selecting everything clicking and dragging and putting it into the toggle now everything is under that top and those columns are actually still preserved. So you basically have the ability to infinitely layer things. Again, a slash, you have all these other ways of organizing, emphasizing, linking many different things. In another video, I'll be going over some database basics. Hopefully you got something out of this video. It wasn't a very complicated one. Hopefully you learned some features that you might have not used before or have maybe forgotten to use. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.